Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I swear I am wearing a top. I just had to wear a nude top for my nude lip combo video, of course. Um, today I'm talking about lip combos. You guys already know the vibe of my channel. I love my nudes and they have to be that perfect warm nude. I do not like pink. I might have a little pinky nude moment in there, but you guys know I do not like pinks. They just do not look good on me, especially being a Latina. You guys, I used to wear pink lipsticks before i don't know what i was thinking but yeah so i'm here to help you out and to show you guys some new combos that's gonna make you look really good and just embrace your skin tone it doesn't matter if you're light medium dark or in between it doesn't matter so yeah that's what today's video is gonna be all about i hope you enjoyed this one give this video a thumbs up and let's get started so i zoom the camera in please pray for my lips after this video you guys i cannot even feel my lips so just give this video a thumbs up for me i'm gonna go ahead and get started by talking about some new brown lip liners i have added to my collection i have done four videos before so i might mention one again that i have mentioned before but i'm sorry you guys i just cannot keep up with my own videos so i have added to my collection this new julius place lip liners they release a whole nude collection a lot of you guys tag me on instagram i love how you guys know like what i'm into so these are the new looks liners and i bought so rare i also got the shade cola and the shade sweet nothing i feel like of all of them so rare looks so good on my skin tone so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you guys so you guys can see how they look and i also like how you just have to twist them and you see the product by the way this shade in cola looks very very similar to matte cork so this is what they look like so the middle one is so rare this one's cola and then this one is called sweet nothing so that's what they look like they're super creamy they're not super long wearing but they are creamy and easy to blend out if you guys want some brown lip liners that are really long wearing i would recommend you try out the alaman cosmetics um i have dulce dulce is a little bit too nude for me this is what dulce looks like by the way nudes are different they might look the same but they're not okay Keta is darker and it has more of that brown undertone so that's what they look like right there but you guys see how pretty they all look you can make anything work but yeah definitely dulce if you're darker than me you're not going to be able to see it that much but it's still really nice to have because you can blend out a darker lip liner with a lighter lip liner so that's something i like to do and then i have also added nyx new truffle to my collection i love brown lip liner by nyx it's my ride or die so i had to add this i saw it at ulta and i just knew it was for me so that right there is new truffle and my last new lip liner i have found is the makeup forever artist color pencil and this is in anywhere caffeine this one again is a little bit lighter i like to use my lighter my lighter lip liners to define my lips when i'm wearing a lip gloss so it doesn't look too crazy in like a ridicula moment you don't have that so i recommend something like this and this one again is anywhere caffeine now let's go ahead and begin talking about combos so let's see you guys i'm gonna start with the one i was wearing right now before i started the video so for that all you're gonna need is mac cork lip liner um also you know what i'm gonna swatch it next to the juvia's place one so you guys can see the difference or not the difference how i like they are brown or cork lip liner is definitely a little bit more warm like undertones to them but they're super similar and you're not going to be able to see the difference so that's what they look like right here is cork and here is cola so that's what they look like one is 18 dollars, the other one's 10 dollars. so i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips i always like to go like this when i'm lining my lips so i can really see you know my my lip line i'm also gonna try to do this as nice as possible but again i do have a lot of combos to go through so i'm gonna try to be fast but also you know look cute for you guys so i'm gonna go like this and i'm just gonna line my lips i recommend you overdraw right here but stay true to this part right here so again i'm gonna go on top of my lip and then follow the line here and then here the same thing I like to overdraw this part, but stay true to my natural lip line. 
All right, so that is MAC Cork. You guys see how nice of a warm color it has. It's like a brown, but with a lot of warm tones. And that looks really, really good when it comes to medium tan skin tones. Even darker skin tones, it just looks a lot better than just having a red undertone. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my finger and start blending out the lip liner so it doesn't look too harsh. And then I'm going to go in with those of Colors Super Natural Liquid Lipsticks. When lipsticks are super light like this, you want to make sure you apply just a little bit. So I just do like three to four to five to six dots. And then I blend it out with my finger. All right, and then this is what Super Natural looks like. Those of Color has really, really good quality liquid lipsticks. They do go on sale pretty often, so you guys can wait. And I will recommend you wait so there's a sale so you don't spend that much money because sometimes you can get them for eight dollars but if you're impatient like me they are eighteen dollars i'm gonna go in with mac gloss i love mac glosses i feel like they have such a good nude so this is called deck a go i honestly have no idea it just says a dash go and then again go i'll go ahead and have it linked below if i can find it for you guys but it's such a pretty pale nude so i'm gonna go in and just add just a little bit on the lips because since it's so pale you don't want to just go like that so i'm gonna add again little dots and then start blending it out and this is what everything looks like as you guys can see it's such a pretty true nude glossy lip you can do it without the gloss you can add the gloss depends if you're gloss or just a matte you know type of girl so i'm gonna go in with let's go with a little bit of ColourPop. this is in bff3 it's one of my favorite lip liners you guys i had this one ever since like 2018 and they last a really long time so i'm gonna go in and just line my lips by the way you always want to make sure your liner is sharpened that is something i recommend you do so you get the most like perfect lines so then i'm gonna go in with beauty creations burly naked lipstick they are so creamy and so affordable i think they're like four dollars you guys i think my mustache is back i need to go and shave this off or even wax it so I hope the camera is not showing it. For gloss, I'm going to go in with Foxy Lip Gloss. One of my beautiful friends showed me this on my Instagram page and I just had to buy it. She looks so good on it. You know who you are, girl. You look so good. So I copied her and I bought this lip gloss and I love it. And then this is what it looks like with the gloss on. Let me know what you guys think. I love it. I feel like it's such a pretty more wearable nude. I know not everybody loves like a nude nude. This is more flattering. It's going to look better on a lot more skin tones. But yeah, it's like a darker middle. I would say like a middle nude. So the next lip combo I have for you guys is this one. Um, this is the Juvia's Place lipsticks. I did just buy the, like, the whole collection. So I picked up two colors. I bought Lady and Libra. So Libra, I only bought it honestly because I'm a Libra. So I just wanted to have like that color. But this is what it looks like. It's like a peachy color. I'm not going to be showing this on my lips today. Because today's lip combo, it's about Lady. Lady is such a good nude lip combo. So you guys can see it has like the perfect undertone super warm which i love let's go in with just like a whole juvia's lip combo so i'm gonna go in with so rare and i always like to have two mirrors i like to have one really up close and really far so i can see what i'm doing and then i'm gonna go in with the color lady they also smell really good i would say like like something sweet that's what they remind me of but that is the color super super pretty super like nude but again more in the medium range so i also picked up two glosses from their collection i bought the color it's electric which is such like a pretty gold and then i also picked up burly there i would suggest you apply burly burly there just by itself with the brown lip liner it looks so good i'll find a little bit it does have like that yellow undertone so it looks really really pretty and it does have a shimmer but you cannot feel the shimmer 
and this is what it looks like on what do you guys think definitely a more darker nude but still looks really pretty i feel like this one looks really flattering with the crease colors so the next combo it's from a puerto rican brand you guys this is called colorina i think you can find them in walmart but over there in puerto rico i went ahead and placed my order in their website and everything arrived i would say like in a week i need to ask my family if they can send me some stuff um but i'm gonna be going in let's go in with kkw new 2 this is one of my favorite brown lip liners so i'm gonna go in with this one and i'm just gonna go ahead and line the lips the thing i like about kkw is that she has different lip liners and i like how she numbers them so you know so the lightest is like one i think she has a 0.5 now but you know you get it like one and then you have two and then you have three so depending on your skin tone or depending on what you're looking honestly for so once i do that i'm gonna go in with this liquid lipstick in cafe latte again Puerto Rican business owned. We gotta support you guys. I'm so excited to show you guys this one because it's such a pretty color. And this is the applicator. And look at this. This is like so good. This is like me in a lip combo. It's so pretty. And they're thin on the lips. They feel really creamy and I really like this color. And this is what um cafe latte looks like with kkw nude 2 so you guys can see this color is perfect when you're doing bolder looks like this one. Oh, you guys i just love this lip combo it's so good it's so flattering of course my boricuas out there this lip combo is for us it looks so good and you know we gotta support our people this lip combo right here a lot of you guys um actually told me this in the comments of my last lip combo videos you guys i love reading your comments so trust me when i tell you i go through all my comments so thank you for everybody who takes time you know to comment something nice to leave me recommendations but i'm gonna go in let's see honestly any brown lip liner you have any of my recommendations are gonna look good with any of this so i'm gonna go in with nyx nude truffle and i'm just gonna go and of course overline my lips so i'm gonna go in with maybelline nude embrace okay this is in 650 it's such a nice lipstick this is a matte when they have the packaging like this it's a matte when they're glossy it's a more like satin finish so i'm gonna go in and apply this one now so you guys can see this is actually a nude for some weird reason you guys when i go to the drugstore sometimes in the packaging they look like the perfect brown you know lipstick and then at home it's like straight up pink i don't know if that happens to you guys but this one it's actually a really nice nude it's a creamy matte and that is what it looks like right there so i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lip liners ever you guys sweet tea by morphe it's probably the best thing morphe has ever come out with that and their bite me lip liners their lip liners are definitely worth the money so i'm gonna go in and line my lips and this is such like a unique pretty brown color i don't even know how to describe it so these are in stockholm and london i have mentioned london before but i'm gonna mix it with stockholm so i'm gonna go in with london first so good so lightweight on the lips this is london on and then i'm gonna go in with stockholm and i'm just gonna put this here on the center this is a little bit more on the pink side so do not put this all over your lips but this lip combo will make you look really natural so this i would describe it as the perfect i'm going to work you know or i'm going on a date even though it doesn't matter right now because we're wearing masks but still you know in the future we're going on a date we're doing something that people are gonna see your lips this is something i would recommend you you know gravitates towards so i recently you guys have fallen in love with this uk brand this is from holly boone um this is the h and b cosmetics line only bad thing this is from the uk so it's gonna cost us more money and it's gonna take like a month you know for it to get to you but it's definitely worth it it's one of my favorite ones i showed you guys this in my go-to lipsticks and it's just such a pretty color i've been trying to find a dupe for you guys but i honestly have just not been able to find one so i'm gonna go in with sweet tea lip liner and then i'm gonna go in with obsessed liquid lipstick i'm literally like so obsessed with this lip combo it's such a good nude like it's not too light and not too dark it's just like the perfect color also a quick little trick go like this and your liquid lips is gonna dry a lot quicker 
it works every single time but this is what this one looks like as you guys can tell it is the prettiest like nude color ever it looks good on lighter skin tones because i have seen it on her website and it also looks good on darker skin tones so that's why i'm saying it might take a while for us to get it but it's definitely worth it so i have two more lip combos to show you guys because my camera's dying so that means i need to shut up so i'm gonna go in with julia's so rare so i went ahead and lined my lips with that these are super super creamy like i told you so i'm gonna go in with artist couture this is in angel baby such a good lipstick they're creamy not too drying this time around i make sure my recommendations aren't too dry of course liquid lipsticks are going to be drying um so this angel baby is such a pretty nude color it is super nude um i'm then gonna go in with alamar cosmetics this is the dulce lip gloss you guys this is one of my favorite brands ever they have such good nude stuff for latinas they are i believe the owner is cuban so that's amazing so i'm gonna go in with a little bit of dulce here on the center I also own, I actually own everything Alamar Cosmetics. I just need the brushes. But Coqueta Lip Gloss is also a really nice color if you're looking for a darker nude. Which you can definitely apply a darker, a lighter lipstick and then apply a darker lip gloss to make it more wearable. As you guys can see, this is more like my type of nude. Super light, still looks really pretty, really like sexy. That's like the vibe, it gives me really sexy. You know, especially with like a smoky eye like this, I just love tones like this. Alright, so for the last lip combo, I went in with a new truffle first. And then I just darkened it up a little bit with Sweet Tea sweet tea Lip Liner. Um, so now, I'm going to go in with one of my favorite liquid lipsticks at the drugstore. I've been loving this color. And this is Maybelline Driver. It is so good, you guys. It looks really good on pictures as well. If you're going to be taking like flash pictures for Instagram or whatever, I recommend recommend you go in with a color like this or even a little bit darker i have taken pictures with like a really light color and it looks awful so keep that in mind also another thing about this formula it's not the best because it is super sticky but it's extremely long wearing okay you want a long wearing lipstick this is it i have eaten mofongo with it i have eaten bacalao with it um and you guys know that does have a little bit more like oil in it grasa i don't know but this one it stays on so so you can leave it like this and it's just like the prettiest warm toned nude again very like sexy just super cute but i'm gonna go in with my last gloss in this video this is the cakey w new nude glosses i just know they're new okay i do not know the name of them but this is in the color 2.5 it doesn't say it anywhere i just noticed that also something about this formula is that it's not sticky but the scent is not the best kkw stuff it just doesn't smell good so i'm gonna put some here on the center this color combination is so good it's like a nude a honey nude you can feel the lip gloss just a little bit it is a little bit more on the stickier side not super sticky um just a thicker gloss also another thicker gloss is the alamar cosmetics lip glosses they are a little bit thicker meaning they're gonna feel a little bit like sticky if you're not used to makeup but they're gonna last longer okay that's what it means all right guys so that's it that is all i have for my nude lip combo video i need to go ahead and go already i don't know if you guys can tell but my hair is already turning curly and that's how you know i've been filming for a while so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite one and also if you guys have tried any of my other lip combos please let me know as well and also let me know if you have any recommendations for me but that is it you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me have a beautiful beautiful day and i will see you guys on the next one i need to go eat bye guys